Hey, listen carefully. This is full up and running Linux Debian distribution, which is running on my Android phone. And my Android phone has only 3 GB RAM, 32 GB storage with 32 bits architecture. If you are watching this video, so you might want this uh, running on your Android phone. So I will be showing you step by step how you can do it. I will be showing you how you can fix any error which may come while doing setup it or installing it. Whether you are doing coding or you want to learn coding and you don't have a laptop or PC and you only have a phone so you can do it because I learned coding like uh, web development on my android phone so you can do it I will be showing you that technique and that method by using what you can get into it you can start with coding journey or any other specific uh, work you have with uh, this kind of uh, Debian distribution on your phone so you can go with that we're starting with me you need two apps one is Starmux, you know that and second is VNC viewer which allow you to do work and view that desktop uh, Debian desktop you will install in Termux. first open your Termux and run pkg update and pkg upgrade this will update every repository and everything in your termux uh, which may be old you know that in this world everything should be updated updation is the rule of this world so please update it by the way every command and a detailed view on this debian desktop uh, you will find on my blog post which is on goodweaver.site you can find it in latest or you can search for it and you will get in search results where I share every command and every information and the troubleshooting guide you can fix any error which you may get while doing setup it and I also attach the link of this blog post in the description so you can find from there also today I created a telegram channel so you can also join within now we are ready to install a next package which is pruit distro just run pkg install pruit distro this package will allow us to install debian distribution pruit distro has many distribution like ubuntu kali but we will use debian because ubuntu and kali linux are based on debian so why we will not use debian to install debian just run pruit distro install debian this may take some time now we can log in that for login you can run pdsh uh, debian or you can run pure distro login debian once you are in the debian distribution just uh, update here's packages you know that uh, updation is the rule of this world so update it so i want to say you that you can also run here sudo commands but we are now logging with root this is a god power you don't need to use sudo here to get the god power you are already logging in god power running apt update it mean you are running sudo apt update and you also don't need to give password because you are logging with root if you will get temporary failure warnings error so you can use vpn like uh, warp and outline servers using vpn apt update and apt upgrade will work and uh, repos will be updated soon once packages are updated now install xfc4 by running apt install xfce4 you may ask why we need xfce uh, now we are logged in, in debian but we don't have any gui interface we can't interact with any app like i installed chromium but i can't open that it is saying x server is missing I mean any display or any gui any interface is not here to open that app and interact with that app as we know that uh, on our phone if we install any app so you can interact with that because there is a GUI that app is installed but that can run in GUI in that GUI so that is a that is a thing that is the power we need to interact with any app so except C it gives that power so install it to install this package you need two to three hundred MB internet once it will install so it will be unpack unpacking will be take some time like uh, 10 to 12 minutes while unpacking this package you may ask for keyboard layout we will use us keyboard layout so press one or type one and go ahead once xfc installed and unpacked next package you need to install is bnc server stand alone server you can install it by typing apt install tiger vnc 
dash standalone dash server once you have installed this package next package you need to install and this is last one which is dbus x11 dbus x11 package will allow our apps to function well and uh, well connected with uh, our debian desktop if you will not install it so if you are installing firefox or any other apps like vs code so that may run not better or may not open you will get a error of uh, there is not any package like dbus to avoiding that error we will install this package once you have installed everything every package now you are ready to launch a vnc server or you can say launch a debian desktop and view that that in the vnc viewer to launch the vnc server or debian desktop run this command vnc server space dash geometry dash 1200 x 720 space dash x startup space slash usr slash bin slash start xfc4 by this we are saying set the ge geometry of our screen and by this we are saying start that xfc which we installed previously and you know that this is the ultimate power of debian desktop just run it give a password verify that and you are ready to see that desktop and you can see here our server is running on localhost one or uh, port is 5901 to access this server we will use vnc viewer you can use any other app uh, if you don't have this app you can install it from play store or you can install its apk from browser or any any website uh, and run that and now you have vnc viewer open it create a new connection in address at the localhost colon one and you can give any name whatever you want and in picture quality you can set it for high so you will uh, see everything in clearly and nothing will be bloody like text will not bloody and screen will not bloody so make it height now enter the vnc viewer password whatever you set it there in termux and you can also say this to save my password for the next time so you don't need to put your password again for the next time so this is all about uh, how you can install debian desktop and run successfully on your phone but in the upcoming videos i will be showing you how you can install vs code uh, and ai code editors like windsurf cursor and what if I will be show you to install those AI editors in your phone and run successfully and create applications, create web apps and do coding with the help of AI and become the 1% who use AI. You know that AI code editors like Windsurf allow us to use uh, Cloud Sonnet, DeepSeek, ChatGPT, O1 to the next level and uh, these elements becomes more powerful than it was when we use it in AI code editors so this is all and in next video I will be showing you to download install and run windsurf in your phone so stay tuned and stay focused